Hello everyone, my name is Yi Kai Hong. I'm a postdoc in the Department of Dermatology in NCKU. Today I want to share my study talking about tumor promotes pathological scarring by augmenting tissue bar activity through its receptor stability in dermal fibroblasts. So after skin injury, the weaning process is started to repair skin structure. However, as I said, fibroblast progression, activation, or cognitive deposition can lead to hyperdrivous scar or keloid. So the molecule we are interested in is uh, TEM1. That belongs to c tablet domain group protein family. It's of a transmembrane glycoprotein. And TEM1 is specifically expressed by fibroblast, lunar cell, parasite, and mesenchymal stem cell. Whether TEM1 engages in pathological formation is still unknown. So, uh, first, the immune function staining show that the tema expression is upregulated in the alkaloid, and tema is localized and correlated with the fibroblast activation markers, including alpha SMA cardiac 1A1 and also fibronectin. So, the analysis of published uh, single cell RNA sequence data set uh, show that the fibroblast subgroup of one cell proportion is increased in keloid and with the TEM1 cardiac 1A1 fibronectin uh, gene expression. So, IP analysis uh, infer the tissue beta is an upstream factor can uh, drive the, the fibrosis uh, related pathway in the FS1. So next, we establish the treasure induced the hyperdrivic scar mouse model. So the TEM1 knockout can reduce uh, treasure mediated the scar formation. And other sequencing results show that uh, TEM1 knockout can reduce uh, treasure uh, enhance the intracellular matrix deposition or tissue bear response or angiogenesis as well as the inflammation. So the uh, TEM1 knockdown can reduce tissue beta mediated the alpha and may catch one as well as the fibronectin protein expression in normal human dermal fibroblast. And TEM1 knockdown can also di diminish the, the phosphorylation of, of SMAT2 and ERK induced by the tissue beta 1. So the TEM1 uh, silencing uh, can reduce the tissue beta receptor 1 and receptor 2 protein expression, but doesn't affect the tissue the tissue bear receptor and receptor 2 messenger RNA label. So the CoIP and PLA assay uh, confirm that the TEM1 can interact with tissue bear receptor 2. In summary, a regulated TEM1 can uh, interact and stabilize tissue beta receptor 1 and receptor 2 uh, stability. So thermal fibroblasts can display hyper response to tissue beta 1 treatment. They can uh, promote canonical non canonical pathway and fibrogenic gene uh, expression. So this pathway uh, can promote the fibroblast perforation, isn't production, and fibroblast activation, thereby leading to the pathological scar formation.